Hello all and welcome! This video I would like to dedicate to how to play on one hand spear. I hope you will enjoy it. And the first thing what I would like to say it's a likes. If this video will get 400 likes, I will make another one video how to play on that gears. The second build, explanation about the build. So what is this build? It's a one hand spear, assassin jacket, hunter hood, any plate boots what you like, taproot and that key. So why this build? I will explain. So this build have a really nice survive sustain because of chest leather, because of hood leather and because of boots plate. So also we have an offhand which actually giving health to us. So what about spear and how to play actually on spear? So spear, it's a kiteable weapon. You know, we need to kite our enemies just through Q and run, just Q, W and run. Sometimes we actually just need to hit uh, our enemy just face to face. But in the most of the fights, we actually kite our enemy. Now let's talk about skills and passive on our equipment. What about spear? We're always using first Q on the spear. Why not second? Because second Q we're usually using on Trinity spear or pike. So we're using it on two-handed spear. And as we can see, one hand spear, we're using first Q always. What about W? So I would like to recommend to start with the harpoon if you're playing with a high gear, like 8.1 and high. Why? Because in the current meta so many bows, so many uh, different curses and frosts. So against them we can play with the harpoon. But you said harpoon, right? Against curses, like what? Yes, sometimes you can use harpoon, sometimes you can use impaler, you know, deflecting spin cripple, it's up to you. But I will explain about it. Impaler we're using against melee matchups, like death givers. We can use it against double um, double bladed swords. So now let's talk about skills and passive on other equipment. What about Q? We're always using first Q. Why not second? Second Q we're always using on the two-handed spears like Trinity or Pike. We're using first Q always. Now let's talk about W. I would like to recommend to start with the harpoon of the start of the fight. Why? Because so many kite builds right now in the Corrupted Dungeons, like Frost, Bows, Harpoon, it's a great choice against them. Now let's talk about different builds like Curses, what about um, Double Swords, I would recommend to use Impaler. Impaler, that's the nice choice for kite. We're using Q, we're using Impaler, we're using E, and just run. But also we can use Deflecting Spin, we also can use Creeple. What about first W? We're using only in PvE. What about second W? We're using it only on Pike, like one shot Pike or something like that. Like I would, don't use it. Just don't use it. Cripple great against double swords because you can cripple their Q, their uh, Iron Wheel, their Run. So you actually just cripple their Q stacks. That's really important. What about deflecting spin? Deflecting spin can be usable against curses. Because when you got four stacks of Q versus curses, you can just deflect this damage. That's a nice choice against them. And it's up to you use impaler. Because in the some fights you will see that impaler sometimes use uh, better than cripple or deflecting spin. So you will get it with the practices, you will you will get experience and you will know when to use Impeller, when to use Deflecting Spin, and when to use Cripple. What about passives? We're always using Life Leech, not first passive, not third, not fourth, only second, Life Leech. Now let's talk about equipment, Hunter Hood, third skill, and first passive. We also have cleans on the Leather Hood, but don't use it against that curious. That's not a good idea. I already played against nice players with the 8.3, uh, who play Death Givers and cleans doesn't work like you think, so use third skill. What about Assassin Jacket? We have two different options Inferno Shield and Ambush. Why not use Inferno Shield? Inferno Shield we're using against enemies when we don't need to avoid anything like Mercenary Jacket, Cleric Robes, and something like that. So when we're playing against Curses, we need to use 
Infernal Shield. When we're playing against dual swords with the mercenary jacket and our enemy using mercenary jacket, so we can just avoid it by ambush. You will get with experience when to use Inferno and when to use Ambush. What about passive at Balance Mine? But sometimes you can use Quick Thinker if you're playing against high pills like Bows and Frosts. So Quick Thinker plus Harpoon, that's the really nice potential to catch them. What about play boots? You actually can use Night Boots, Holder Boots, Guardian Boots, it's up to you, it doesn't matter, because we're always playing with the second skill on that. What about passive? We're using Toughness. What about third skill? We sometimes can use it against bows, uh, exactly against Q, W, so kind of like this. Now, what about shoes of cape and offhand? Tad for cape, that's the great choice, you know, not keeper cape, not martial cape, we just need damage every 15 seconds. Additional damage, of course. What about offhand? Look, we always using taproot when we're playing with a chest like assassin jacket. If you're gonna play with a mercenary jacket spear, I, I would actually not recommend to play with a mercenary jacket spear because it's kind of unplayable. But if you're gonna play with a mercenary jacket, then use Misa. Why not Torch? Um, why not Miscolor? It's not cool because Taproot giving additional health, which actually works with the, our food. What about consumables? I will talk a bit later. So Torch. That's a nice choice, you know, kind of cheap, but attack speed, nice, uh, cooldown reduction, nice. Miss color, great, cooldown reduction, but it's not enough. When you're playing against strong players like 8-1, 8-2, 8-3, all gear, we need something strong like health or damage, because just only by one Kai we can't win this. So I would, I would recommend to use always Top Root, Assassin Jacket, Hunter Hood. Of course, you can use Thing Cow, Guardian Helmet, Mage Cow, it's up to you, but I've played so many fights and Hunter Hood really nice in this meta. And also Thing Cow in some of the situations. So now, what about consumables? As I said, it works nice, pure snapper with the top root just because of health, because we're giving in percentage. Like, increase your max health by 12.2%, that's great. We have so much HP, look at this. From 4.4, we actually got. 4.9. Yes, of course, it's because of um, 7.3 foot and 8.3, but it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm talking about health, like additional health. So Taproot work great with a Pyramid Snapper. What about Ilsum? We can use Ilsum against Skype matchups like Frosts and Bows. I actually talk much today about Frosts and uh, Bows. Yes, because it's annoying. And we're playing with a Quick Thinker with a harpoon on W, heals you, because it's annoying, and only like that we, we actually can win them. In the previous video, i seen so many comments when people said, you're playing 8.3 only against 6 0, 7, 1, and almost dying against them. Guys, this build is actually depends on the gear, because if you're gonna play with a 6 1 against, let's say, 8 1 death givers, you're gonna lose. So this build really works with a high gear. It's actually also playable with the 8-1, 6-3, 6-2, what about Stalker, it's 6 0 enough. But what about Slayer? Unfortunately, this build works only with the high gear of equipment. And now, let's see what fights I actually prepared to you. I hope you will get enjoy.
в очко себе кинь топор, ладно так. Просто рандомный самый топор. Yo, uh, guys, can I ask about trash rate of items in Corrupted Dungeons? Like, can you explain this? Nice trash rate, by the way. Nice trash rate, by the way. I got Miss from him. Like, I got only Miss Color, and that's it.
thanks everyone for watching, there will be more videos on my channel soon, so don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Спасибо всем за просмотр, скоро будет больше видео на моем канале, поэтому не забывайте поставить лайк и подписаться на канал. Goodbye. Пока.